Hi there, and welcome to another Singing Teacher Reacts video. My name is Peter Vox, and I am the director and principal teacher of Vox Singing Academy here in beautiful Melbourne, Australia. Vox Singing Academy was established in 1993. We have six studios here in Melbourne. We also give online singing lessons seven days a week worldwide. So if we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, we'd be absolutely honored. If you don't want face-to-face -face singing lessons, we also do offer the ultimate online singing course. For more info, please check out the links below. If you want me to react to a video, please put the name and the link of the video in the description uh, and please send it to me. If we get enough uh, requests, I will do a video for it. Thank you very much for everyone that has liked and subscribed. Thank you for everyone that has built this great community that we're building here. I thank you very much. Please keep your comments polite and nice. Without any further ado, I have got some requests to do some, um, all stemming from an ACDC video uh, of, of Thunderstruck that I did with ACDC quite a while ago to do some Guns N' Roses, which I have uh, done. And a follow up to that, I wanted to do, uh, well, I've also been requested to do and I wanted to do uh, a Guns N' Roses or Axl Rose and ACDC. So quite a lot of people have wanted the, my opinion on uh, when Axl Rose filled in for Brian Johnson when he lost his hearing uh, in 2016, the remainder of the, I think it was the American tour that he filled in for. And what in my opinion uh, on on that? Um, so without any further ado, we're going to get stuck into this, and I'm really excited and really looking forward to this because this is really th these are two of my favourite bands here. Um, I grew up with ACDC being Australian, obviously. Um, so ACDC uh, basically just a staple diet over here in Australia. They were they were played on radio. Um, in most stations when I was growing up, so it was basically something that you were nearly force-fed here. And obviously, Guns N' Roses, they're fantastic. You know, their first three albums were amazing. So we've got a combination of the two here, and we're going to, well, I will be reacting to uh, Axl Rose singing Thunderstruck with ACDC at Madison Square Gardens in New York City in 2016 without any further ado let's get stuck into this i'm excited i'm really looking forward to this Thank you. 
that was that was bloody great. I don't know where to start. That was fantastic. Look, the band were on fire. Um, again, 2016, Madison Square Gardens, the band were really tight. Angus was amazing. But I'm here to, to uh, react to Axl Rose's version of this. Now, obviously, his voice hasn't got the depth or, um, you know, the body that Brian Johnson has. Uh, he's got more of a screechy, higher range uh, on, on this song. Uh, and Brian's voice is very much compressed down in his chords where he gets that thicker sound. But this song is not an easy song to sing. It's, it's a very hard rock song to sing, up there with Back in Black. Back in Black's probably a bit harder, but this one is very, very hard. Pretty much once you get to the second verse, Axl Rose was, didn't leave and wasn't leaving anything on the table on this performance. You have to go all out on this performance. And he did. He was really giving it to it to his voice. It's very high once you hit this second verse. And Axl was doing a great version of this. Um, I just reacted to um, Welcome to the Jungle. And Axl was really cutting a lot of things short to get breaths in. But on this song... He was pretty much sustaining and singing it nearly as he's cutting things slightly shorter, but he, he was really focusing on his performance. Microphone technique was fantastic, straight. His posture was really straight, even though he's, he's in the high cowboy boots, his posture was really straight all the time and really not lifting the head up at all, reaching for those high notes, because this, this really makes the voice constrict like this and makes it sound tighter. If you'll see Brian Johnson when he's going for high notes, the, 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 the the third uh, lead singer of this of ACDC, yes, he was the third. There was one before Brian, uh, bon, bon Scott. He actually only pushes down his head when he's going for those high notes. But Ax Axel was exceptional. He hit all of these notes. His pitching was uh, on this. It, it was 99%. It was, it was a fantastic performance. And to be honest with you, I, I would have now, I haven't seen any of their videos, uh, I would have loved to have seen one of the greatest uh, rock vocalists and the greatest rock band. I'm being biased here because I'm from Australia. The greatest rock band in history. Biggest selling uh, a rock album in the history of music is Back in Black. I would have loved to have seen them with this particular lineup. I think um, that would have been fantastic seeing Axel do these, and he, he, he did an exceptional job. I'm going to grade this one here, this performance here, at, um, I'm going to give it nine and three quarters out of ten vocally. I thought it was absolutely exceptional. I thought the backing vocals were very good as well too. I thought Axel's intro vocals, uh, where he was sort of doing some of the lower ones, was, was um, thunder, was very, very good. And then he did the thunder, and he did the higher ones. Uh, a couple of the high ones that he does, which is which is the way that recording is done. I thought it was exceptional. I, I thought his vocal performance was fantastic. Couldn't fold it. Um, hit every note. Cutting things slightly short, shorter, slightly not much. He's pretty much doing this nearly like the album. It was it was exceptional. Um, I thought that his breathing was fantastic. Microphone technique was fantastic. Didn't do a lot of stage presentation. Just pretty much stayed there. Didn't run around. Didn't go. I don't think he come up that main walkway there at all. Um, really focused on the vocal performance here. Was really, really in the pocket. In great, great form. They all are. That was an exceptional vocal performance. I, I would have loved to have been there live. It would have been something that uh, will probably never, ever happen again. Thank you, everyone who's watched uh, any of my React videos. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the great community we're building up here. Please keep your comments coming. Uh, if you want me to react to a video, please put uh, put the link in there as well too. If I've got enough people requesting it, I will do it. Thank you for, for all, the, all the beautiful comments that I get on here. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Again, if we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, we'd be absolutely honoured. Vox Singing Academy has been established since 1993. We have six studios in Melbourne. 
and online singing lessons worldwide, giving face-to-face -face singing lessons, um, or we have the ultimate online singing course. Check out the links below. But most importantly, please enjoy your music, enjoy your singing, live with passion, and most importantly, say hi to your mum for me, and be good to everyone. Peace and much love until the next React video.